Hey guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's finally here! I'm so excited to finally be able to share all of this with you guys. This has been months and almost a year in the making and I was supposed to film the video back in March but then a few of the pieces didn't come because of quarantine. So now I'm just so happy that I can finally share my apartment with you guys and now that I can share it, I can finally start shooting around other corners of my home without preempting my condo tour. So if you guys have been waiting for this as much as I have, then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well so that you get notified every time I have new videos like this. Before we get to the video, I wanted to mention to you guys that I had a lot of help with my interior design team. They're called IEO and I mentioned them in my previous room tour and they pretty much did all of the hard work for me so that I didn't have to. If you guys have gone through renovations before, then you would know how much of a headache it is to have to deal with logistics and suppliers and even just trying to find exactly what you're looking for. So they already had existing relationships with a lot of different people because they've been in this industry for so long that it was so easy for me to just be like, this is my vision, this is what I want. They were able to put it into a render and make it come to life. So thank you so much IEO. Their details will be in the description box down below if you guys need help just sprucing up any part of your home or your office, do message them. All right, here we go. Without further ado, welcome to my condo tour. Okay, so let's start at the entranceway of the apartment. Once you walk in, the first thing you'll see is this buffet table that we had repainted green. This was actually a hand-me-down from my grandmother and it's been in our family for now, three generations. And I really wanted to have a piece of her in my apartment, but the old wood finish that it first came in didn't match the aesthetic of the apartment. So I asked Aja Bob to repaint it and now it works perfectly. A reoccurring theme you're gonna notice around the apartment is that it's very jungly or it like gives off a jungle vibe and that was kind of what I was really going for just because I live in a city and in an apartment and I didn't want to feel like stuck or that I was living in a box and I wanted to feel some sorts of the elements of the outdoors so there are a lot of plants all over and these two are from Growing Green. I'll put their details in the description box down below. You're also gonna see a lot of candles all over and these ones are from Oak Lane. The tray I found when I was just scouring around, this was from H&M and this fountain was purely for feng shui purposes because a feng shui master came here and said, oh, you need a fountain right there. So I was like, okay, I guess it can't hurt to have one. So now it's there and so far it's felt very zen in here. So I feel like it's working. The entranceway and dining area has two glass mirrors that kind of meet at the corner. And the reason we did that was because apparently when you have mirrors in the apartment, it makes the space seem a lot bigger. So why not? This one behind me was already here when I moved in, but IEO suggested to change these mirror panels into a bronze mirror, which I totally agree with because now it fits the look of the apartment so much better and gives it a warmer vibe. This mirror is from First Prime Glass Corporation. Their details will be in the description box down below. And I really liked their proposition because our initial problem was that an entire mirror wouldn't fit in the service elevator to bring it up to the apartment. So they cut it in half, but they measured it so that the line where it cuts is behind the table. So when you're walking around, you don't see the line within your area of visibility. Okay, so now we're moving on to the dining area. And as we go around, you're gonna notice that I have an affinity towards marble and gold. It's just what I'm into right now. And so this table and this entire set I found on Instagram and you're able to customize the color of your seats. So I think this might be perhaps a suede or velvet finish, but I intentionally chose the two Cabecera seats to be a different color to kind of tie it into the living room and the entranceway, but also for me to have a different color chair to shoot on in case 
the aesthetic I'm going for is different than I have gray and I have green as well. Yeah, I didn't want it to be so stiff. Like I wanted the aesthetic of my apartment to kind of reflect how I am and I don't really take myself too seriously. The chandelier I have over here was a design suggestion by IEO. What I really loved about what they did for me was they made the entire process so easy that I didn't have to go and look for each and every supplier for what I was looking for. So they kind of do the dirty work for you. So they found this chandelier from Home Cartel. And actually, I don't know if you can notice, but remember the bulbs I was looking for in my previous vlog with Lisa? Well, the only ones I could find were of a warmer tone. So now I have both cool and warm light, which I guess kind of works out and balances it out, but that wasn't an intentional design choice. My centerpiece, I usually change around every month depending on the mood I'm in. But this one was a latest edition by Perfect Pieces. I think I might have a discount code. I'll put it in the description box down below. This entire apartment was designed for me to have friends over. So I got this piece in hopes that in the future when I do have guests over, we can play tic-tac-toe together. But for now, it's purely decorative. Now we're in my favorite place to hang out, which is the living room. Ah, I can finally share it with you guys. So behind me, you'll see that I have a gallery wall that are from a bunch of different pieces that I found either around the world or locally. A lot of the frames, such as these ones, are all from Mandawi Home, so they're so affordable. And a lot of my friends who collect art told me that you really can't rush the art collection process. So some of them are placeholders in the meantime until I find a more permanent piece that I want but right now it seems to really work so I can't wait to finally shoot a lot of videos here. I've been hiding this for so long. The wallpaper is the same supplier as my bedroom and practically my entire apartment and they're called Newbury Designs. You can check them out in the description box down below. I wanted the gallery wall to have a 3D dimension so I got these pieces I can't remember online but I'll put the details when I find it down below. This beetle, IEO found from Oak Lane, but one of the paintings that really stand out to me is this painting I bought in Argentina back when I went with Solen and Nico and a bunch of other friends. And it just really stood out to me and I really wanted to have a piece to remind me of that trip because I don't really know when I'll be going back. So yeah, every time I look at this painting, I'm reminded of that trip. I asked IEO how we could make the TV integrated into the gallery wall and move around to be able to swivel depending on what part of the apartment I was in. So we found this rig in just a regular hardware store and then you can install it so this way I can move the TV to face the dining room, the living room, or the kitchen depending on where I am. So I just wanted to show you, it goes out, in, right, left, so, ta -da! super cool. I also knew I wanted to have some sort of shelving, but not have a bulky shelf have to be brought in so that I still felt like there was enough space in the living area. So these shelves, I believe, are from Mandawe Foam, and I just filled it with a bunch of different trinkets from my travels or memories I have with my friends. Okay, so I just want to talk you through some of the pieces that made it on the shelf. So these frames I actually found when I was running errands with Lisa. You guys saw that on the previous video. And then while I was in lockdown, I just printed out a bunch of my favorite photos from my phone. So this here is my birthday last year. And here I have a bunch of memories with my girlfriends from different travels around the world. This vase, and I think these two are from Nordic Home. Some books just from my reading throughout the years. These green frames are from Oak Lane, and I filled them up with my Palo Santo, my sage, and some coffee beans to deodorize. Not that I need it because you'll see I have an air purifier as well. This was a steel I found from H&M, and this light right here was a gift I got from Secret Santa from Camille. This frame, I haven't decided what I want yet, but maybe I'll put a photo of me 
Canadian price. This was from H&M. This book end is from Oak Lane. This candle I found one when one time I was hosting an event. This I bought on Amazon. It's an incense holder and I have a photo with my boyfriend. By the way, remember when my air conditioning broke like in the middle of quarantine? When I was able to go on the All Home website, you could also go on their fiber group, I think. This one is by Idea, and I liked it because it's inverter, so it's cost effective. It's two horsepower, so it can make the whole room cold because there used to be two units here, so I'd rather have one. And I really like the sleek modern design, and what was really nice about it was that when you turn it on, it doesn't blow into just one direct area. You know how some air conditions do that? Well, this one kind of like disperses the air throughout the room. So I don't know how they do it, but it works out pretty well and it fits seamlessly into my apartment. So I really love that. I even got another one in my walk-in closet, which you guys will see. This is another corner of my living room that I can't wait to start shooting in. I got this chair because it just seemed so comfortable, but what I really liked about it is it comes with this footstool, but if I ever have more guests, then it can act as an extra seating area for them as well. When my friends are hanging out on the couch, I can sit here and talk to them, or I can have this as my reading nook, reading corner with some really good lighting. So now you see my living room in its entirety. This pink couch you guys see all the time was actually refurbished by the next furniture concept this also was from my grandmother and it was this horrid like 1980s floral sofa pattern and i just couldn't stand it but it was so comfortable so they made it pink and now it is what it is this coffee table was also a hand-me-down from my mom because if you can avoid to spend more, then try to do that. <laughs> I've learned as I adult. My curtains are from Lexilia, and I was actually really impressed by how they installed this because when they came over, they brought their own steamers to make sure that the fabric was perfectly straight. And they even brought someone with a sewing machine to sew perfectly like, and have the curtain be even on my floor because apparently my floors weren't even. My plants over here, the small ones are from the plant kit inside, but this big rubber tree is from spruce. These big plants over here are from the lush greenery and I'm actually going to show you a little secret that I hid my air purifier right in this corner, so it still does the job, but you don't really see it around the apartment. Again, you're gonna see a lot of candles around the apartment. I really love to make sure that my apartment smells good all the time, and especially when you have a pet around, you kind of have to be more careful about making sure that the apartment doesn't smell like pet pee or other things. So, to be safe though, when I'm entertaining or if I just want to have some ambiance, let's say if I have a candle under some wheat or pampas grass, then I will just put a fake electronic candle just for safety purposes. The small pot with plants is also from the Lush Greenery and this coffee table book I got from the Vogue 100 exhibit when I went to London with BJ and Liz. My carpet is also from Mandawa Foam and this light over here is from Home Cartel and you guys have seen this wallpaper over and over again. I love it so much. Again, from the same people who did my hair apartment and that is New Murray Designs. And this lamp just came in yesterday and that's when I knew I could finally film this condo tour. That came all the way from Cebu, also from Mandawa Foam. So the way I laid out the seating area was like the couch would then face the TV so that you're comfortable when you're watching Netflix or you're just chilling, hang out with your friends. I put seats around this area so that when we're hanging out, we could all be facing each other. If we want to play board games, then I'll remove this centerpiece over here. But when I need to work out, let's say I need to do Pilates, then I could just move the table to the side and then move the bench up against the wall and then I have all this space to be able to work out and have my home gym as well. So a lot of the pieces like are meant to be able to move around and to be multifunctional because 
I do have a smaller space than let's say like a three bedroom home. So I wanna be able to work with what I have but still not be limited by the space. Okay, my camera died, so we're gonna have to keep filming with my phone. I'm sorry if the audio changed a little bit, but we're gonna power through. So from the dining to the living area, we then walk into the kitchen area. This bar area was already here when I moved in, so I didn't wanna have to spend more to fix it, so we kept that, and I wanted to stick to the black and white look that this kitchen already had, so I also tried to keep all of my kitchen appliances either black or white. This big poster behind me was a very special birthday gift from someone special, I won't say who anymore, but they said when they saw it, it reminded them of me because of my love for traveling and also fashion, so kind of like integrates into one big poster. There used to be a huge mirror over here, but we took that out because I already have so many mirrors. Also, I wanted to mention, so right here, we had an artist come in and she did an amazing job. You'll see her work in my walk-in closet as well. She painted over the outlets to work seamlessly with the wallpaper. So it looks like the wallpaper goes over the outlet, but she actually painted that. I thought that was really cool. All right, so we get to the kitchen area and this sink was already here, so I didn't change anything. But this wine rack and that face just arrived yesterday, so I was able to display some of my wines. I'm not a big drinker, but for friends to come over in the future, then they have that option. A big lifesaver for me during quarantine was this dishwasher from Maximus. I found them on Instagram. I think it's called The Greatest or The Greatest PH. I'm not sure. So this is actually a countertop dishwasher but I wanted it to be seamless into whatever was here already. So I hired Silver Moon Builders and they built this, I don't even know what it's called, like a shelving unit to fit the dishwasher perfectly, plus have a little compartment for all my cleaning supplies. So I thought it worked out perfectly. Like it, it makes it seem like the dishwasher was actually built into this bar, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> this cute carpet was also sent over from Fury Home. So this is the stove where I do barely any cooking, but there's this overhead exhaust fan that turns on. That was also already there, so. As you can see, the kitchen is not my strength, so yeah. <laughs> Basically, this was all here when I moved in. So all I did was make sure to buy black kitchen appliances so that they kind of like disappear into the wall. You're not, they're not so obvious. But I definitely need my Nespresso here. I have more supplies in the pantry, but I put the ones I use all the time out here so they're easy to get to. So we have the coffee machine, the water heater, the juicer, and then we have all the other not so cute aesthetic stuff inside the drawers and the cabinets. I almost forgot to mention the kitchen also serves as a breakfast bar. So there are three stools down here that I think my mom got a long time ago. So I just didn't change them. But if you guys know of cuter stools that will match perfectly, then DM me or let me know in the comment section down below. So I love that you can kind of like cook here, chop here, and like prepare everything and then just like shove it over here. That way there's like less like having to bring stuff to the dining area. I mean you could, but it's nice to have this option, especially for breakfast. Like you could sit here and just make some toast, have some coffee and like do whatever you do in the morning. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the kitchen area, but I really wanted to show you what I installed in the pantry to make my laundry life so much easier. So this is the pantry area. This is where all the laundry is done and like kind of like a stock room. So I like throw everything in here that I don't want to be seen or kind of just like keep everything here. So you guys have already seen this washing machine. I've had it for a few years. I brought it from my previous apartment and I didn't want to buy a new one. So I just brought it with me. 
And my favorite part about this pantry is that I had this kind of ladder or steel bar installed up here. So that way it was easier for me to hang all my clothes once they came out of the wash. I would just hang them up here. So I didn't have to bring out that old thing that folds out like this. I don't know what it's called, but it's such a hassle to use that. So I wanted to show you this. Ta-da! Super cool. This was built by Silver Moon Builders and I, like, literally they just got what I wanted. I told them I just need a place where I can hang everything. So they built this as well as the thing that goes around the dishwasher. And in here, I also have my other appliances like my toaster, my Nutribullet, and my Eco Mom UV sterilizer to sterilize absolutely everything that I bring into the apartment. All right, so now we are in my guest bathroom. And fun story, when we were starting to paint this, it was actually Lisa and I who had to measure the, all the walls and then put up masking tape and we bought the paint and we started painting it but halfway through we got so tired that we ended up hiring someone to finish it. But I guess it's the effort that counts. So in this bathroom I wanted it to be like still somewhat of like a fun jungly vibe but like still with a gallery involved. So here on the right side, you're gonna see some art pieces hung up. And some of them I got from my travels to South America, from Chile and Peru. Some of the artwork is also from Mandawe Foam and others I just bought online and had delivered over. I've already shown you guys this corner over here. This art piece I mentioned before is from It's Lemon Garden. Some of the flowers are from Pretty Withered, and this light bulb base is from Pro Jomo. This table was also custom built by Silver Moon Builders, and I told them that I wanted to have a space where when guests come over, especially for my girlfriends, we usually have a purse, and we don't really have anywhere to put them, so I wanted them to have a space here. And then right in front of the toilet, I wanted a space for some magazines and reading material should they need it. This basket was just part of a PR set, PR gift that I kept and used. Some of the paintings, this one behind me is from my dad. This wall used to be, I think, white and I wanted it to still coincide with the color scheme of my apartment so I ended up painting it green. I also put some frames down here which are also from my Dawit Foam and a lot of the plants are from the plant kit inside. There used to be a lot more plants in here but because some of them died I just I didn't want to wait to have more plants to shoot this apartment door so you guys are just gonna have to live with some plantless bases right now. The sink was already here when I moved in so I didn't touch that or the toilet. For this one I just did minimal touches like I didn't want to have to uproot or change any of the tiles or the toilets like I wanted to save some money so I just did like the paint job and then add some artwork and everything else. The mirror I found from H&M as well and a lot of the plants here are from the ones I mentioned in the living room already so they just kind of trickle in here as well. Thank you. 